I always wanted to try out a video to 3D animation tool, but never had the time or the motivation to search one that is any good. So I was really happy when Quick Magic wrote me an email if I wanted to test out their program. And this is exactly what I will be going to do in this video. I will show you what I tried, what type of video worked and what didn't work, so you can get going with the best results. Before starting they have a free version as well, where you get 50 credits each month to test it out or you can get a pro version to get more points. If you would like to check it out, click the link in the description. I have downloaded 5 test videos of the internet to test what works best. I have a basic dance video in slow motion, I have a vertical video where I want to test what happens if the arms go out of the video and also how good the facial expression is calculated. Another one with only the top half of the body which should focus on the hand movements. A basic video where a person sits on a chair to see if it recognizes these movements. And last but not least a video where a person flips in the air. With those videos prepared, I started with the most basic one, the dance video. You can simply upload your video and the AI recognizes where the person is in the video. After that, you can drag and drop an output format onto your person. In my case, I use the Mixmo Rig preset, because in the end, I will also show you how to relink the basic model to any model you want that has a Mixmo Rig, but more on that later. They also have many other presets that also include face tracking or Unity models and even for iClone models for an easier integration. With my Mixmo Rig on top of my person, I can click next and choose what sections I want to track, full body or only upper body, hand and face. For my first test I left everything how it is and clicked generate. Safe to say I was impressed how good the animation was. Still there were some minor errors such as clipping an arm through the body or a weird head movement. Luckily they have a 2D refinement. In there you can click through every frame and you can also move the points where they aren't placed correctly. There is an IK option where you can select when the foot is on the ground and when it isn't, so you can refine the AI even more. But more on the IK refinement option later. In my second try I also activated hands in addition to full body. And again I was surprised that you could do both at the same time. You could even select face as well, so it tracks everything. But for this example I didn't need the facial expression. After loading I got a really crazy result. It still had some errors but the second part of the dance video was close to perfect and the hand movements were so precise I matched the original video close to perfection. I also downloaded the FBX file to check it out in Blender and as you can see I could import the FBX with one click and everything was there and worked. The second video was the vertical video of the woman dancing. Because I wanted to have a facial expression as well I couldn't use the Mixamo output because it doesn't support facial animation. Instead I used this anime girl VMD file and tracked upper body, hands and face. Maybe the video is not perfect all the way through, but it got the majority of it correct. And even if the hands or arms left the video, the AI tried to match the movement as good as possible. Also I'm quite happy how the facial animation turned out. Even though the woman in the video is always moving the head, the AI could pick up the facial movement and convert it onto the character, which is quite impressive. Next up was the hand movement video. I wanted to see what happens if I selected full body even though you can see only the upper body of the woman. Well, don't try that out. I recalculated the animation again with only upper body and hands. This video was only okay. You can see the hand movement but still there's a lot of chittering. I think it is because the video of the woman is too dark, without enough light for the AI to differentiate different parts of the body. So if you record movements of yourself, make sure you are lit well. Second last video was the walking and sitting down. I used the Mixamo rig again with the hands movement. And oh boy, even though the quality of the original video is terrible, the AI picked up the movement accurately and also the sitting down worked fine. The 3D model bounced a bit while sitting down, but you can easily fix that in Blender or in other 3D softwares. The last clip was the flip video. In the beginning it turned out really bad and I thought the AI can't handle flip or any jumping videos. But after inspecting it in the 2D refinement section, I noticed that the legs got switched mid-air. You can see that by looking at the rig of one leg and also its color. If the color switches, it means the AI got confused with the legs. You can easily fix that by selecting mirror and it should switch the color back. Change that for all the frames the AI got it wrong and save it. For jumping or flipping video it is really important that the AI knows that during the jump the feet are always in the air. To make sure the AI got it right you can switch to the IK rig options and see what colors the feet have. If the feet are red it means it touches the ground. If the feet are green it means they should be in the air. Apparently the AI got confused during the flip and checked that one feet is on the ground mid-flip. 
That's why the result looks so weird. To change that, simply select the point which is wrong and change it to green. Check it again for all the frames. Save the video and recalculate it again. After these small changes with the refinement tool, the flip looks nice and it works. Before I continue to explain how to use different models for the 3D animation you just created, I wanted to tell you again you can click the link in the description to test it out for yourself. All the tests I did for this video only cost me 100 credits and I tested each video at least 2 or 3 times. So you can test it yourself with also a few videos with the 50 free credits you get by logging in. If you are in Blender and have imported the animation you created in Quick Magic, we can go to Mixamo. In Mixamo, you can either choose one of their presets models or upload your own and rig it automatically there for free. After you have done that, just download the model in a T-Pose. For retargeting, we'll use a free add-on from Rococo Studio. I will link it as well in the description. Simply download the zip folder, in Blender go to Edit, Preferences and under Add-ons, select this small arrow and choose Install from Disk. Select the zip folder you just downloaded and activate the add-on. On the right side you can see all the add-ons you have and there should be now the Rococo add-on. Log in with your Rococo account, it is free as well. All we need there is the retarget option. Select the eyedropper tool from the source and select the rig from the animation from Quick Magic. The target should be the Mixamo rig you just downloaded. Select build bone list and after that retarget animation. That's all there is to it. Now your new character from Mixamo should have the same animation as the one from Quick Magic. I hope you found this video informative. For me it's a game changer because I can create concepts for animations way faster and fine tune it in Blender later. Feel free to check it out, the link is in the description. If you have any questions just write them in the comments and as always keep pushing boundaries.